Once you've added a map to a print layout in QGIS, it's really easy to position things exactly as you want. But there's two kinds of positioning here. One is with the arrow button, where you can move any item. Could be text, could be a map, could be a north arrow. So you can move things around with this and position them exactly as you want. If you want to move the map inside the map frame, and it's highlighted over here now, map one, you'll want to click on the move item content button. And sometimes if you don't have it selected in the items on the right, you might find it doesn't work properly. So sometimes if you've got tons of items, just make sure you've got the map selected. Now with move item content selected, I can just left click and move things around. So if I want to zoom in, I can use the scroll wheel here in and out. And if I hold down control or probably command on a Mac, I can get a much finer zoom in and out as well. But what we can also do is on the right hand side, we've got map one, below that we've got the item properties. I'll just resize this slightly. The item properties for the map has the scale. So if I want this to be a scale of the 15 million, I can type, type in 15 million and hit enter. And if I want it to be 20 million, I can type that and hit enter. So you're really flexible in terms of how you can position things, how you can scale things, and how you, you can even rotate things if you want to. But I wouldn't recommend doing that. So the key thing here is to move an item like a map or some text, you use the button that looks like an arrow, select move item, and I can move things around all day long. But if you want to move the map within the frame, just remember it's the move item content button. And if for any reason it doesn't seem to move, just make sure you've got your map frame selected on the right.